Hi there, this is Pastor Steve at Kerbinsville Alliance, and I had this idea to go out on a snowy day and make a video for you. This is his first snow that we've had on the ground right here at the house. And then I thought that would be crazy to go outside in this and make a video. So what I did, and I don't know if you can tell or not, I'm actually inside. I look like I'm outside, but I'm inside and I'm taking this video from my kitchen. Oh, I guess you can tell, right? Because sliding glass doors, you knew all along, didn't you? Hey, I want to talk to you just very briefly about a passage of scripture that is dealing with Advent. We read it on Sunday. It's Isaiah chapter 9. And I want to talk to you specifically about when the Word of God says of Jesus, this Messiah, it says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. Then this part. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Can you think of better titles than those? I want to talk to you about that Wonderful Counselor title. You know, if, if you're like me, when you were in high school, you had a guidance counselor, and you probably never thought to call him or her wonderful. Now, I know some school counselors, school psychologists, and they are wonderful. I just never thought to call mine that. But I have known wonderful counselors. Years ago, Laurel and I were struggling in our marriage. It just wasn't what God wanted it to be. It wasn't what we wanted it to be. And we went and got some counseling from a wonderful counselor. And he was so helpful to us. That's the kind of counselor God is. That's the kind of counselor that is born unto us. That's the kind of counselor whose birth we celebrate here during Advent. Now, I want you to think about that phrase, wonderful counselor. And I want you to think, how does Jesus counsel you? And, you know, first and foremost, we understand that he counsels us through his word. So during this season of Advent, in fact, during this entire season of living in 2020, you'll want to make sure you're tuning into the word of God regularly. And don't allow the roller coaster of life to keep you from doing that steadily, because that is the primary way that he seems to counsel most of us. A second way he counsels us is by his spirit dwelling in our heart. And you know that anyone, anyone who has turned from their sin and placed their trust in Jesus, anyone who's been saved, has the spirit of God living in them. And you've heard his still small voice, haven't you? Don't do that. That would be unwise. That's the spirit of God. You should do this. That would be a blessing to whoever. That's the spirit of God. He often speaks to us about what we should do and who we are. You are my beloved. That's the Spirit of God. So that's the second way that the Spirit of Christ counsels us is by his presence in the person of the Holy Spirit within us. A third way that he counsels us is as we gather together with one another. Whether you're sitting there listening to a sermon or you're in a small group studying God's word or whatever, that is a way that that God counsels us, that we have the wonderful counselor. I know you've been in a small group and you've had this sudden paradigm shift from, whoa, I was thinking about that completely wrong. And that's just a beautiful time, a beautiful thing when that happens. And you might be thinking, that's what I miss the most during this time, is being together in small groups or sitting in a sanctuary and hearing the word of God. And I understand that. I miss it like crazy. But that doesn't mean you have to be without it. You still have family or Christian friends or both. And you should talk about the things of God, encourage them in their walk with faith, even pray together with them. That would be a good thing to do. I especially want to recommend that to dads and moms if you have children. You have been part, if you've been part of Corbinsville Alliance, of a fantastic discipling community. From the sermons, to the children's church, to the Sunday school, to to the, the small groups that meet together, you have gotten a lot of discipleship. Now is your opportunity to share some of those with others. And in so doing, you reflect the image of God. Guess which part you reflect? The wonderful counselor part. My prayer is that you will not allow that part of your life to kind of be put on hold, but you will find creative ways to interact with people of faith, people in the body of Christ, and as well, you will be, especially if you're in a, a position of authority and leadership, that you yourself will be imaging, reflecting the wonderful counselor. 
Hey, this is Steve Shields, Kerman's Alliance. It's always good to talk to you. And may God bless you on this oh, snowy winter day. I can just feel the winter around me. No, I can't really because I'm in my kitchen. God bless you.